Hello everyone, this is Blue Thunder Fan Racing, and this is the PWRL UPS Truck Series. Back for race number 10 of the season, we are officially at the halfway point of season 1. We are at the Pocono Raceway. Hey, I, we are at the Pocono Raceway, I certainly can't wait for this one. Here's, take a look at our top 10. On the pole is Tyler Manson, he's a really good qual qualifying effort for him. Great, great, great efforts. S starting next to him is Daniel Culp, also a good effort. He's not, he's down there in points. Kevin Ulrich is third, also a great effort. He's struggled this season. Fourth is Kyle Sosnowski. This is his home race, as you know, as you as you learned in the Budweiser Retro Series race. He's, uh, row three is Thomas Mikacook and, and American Mikacook. American Megacook's also struggled this season. Row 4, Wilmer Jones and Jack Naden, and running out the top 10 is Emilio Navarre and last week's sh shocking winner, Jason Marshall. And here is the rest of the starting lineup, 11 through 42nd. Points leader Mason Wood starts 12th, second in points Seth Cole starts 25th, and third in points Taylor Mitchell starts 18th. Forty-two drivers looking to take the win here at Pocono. I'll tell you, a driver that wants it the most is Kyle Sosnowski rolling off in fourth place. This is his home track. And he's going to be pushing it in that number 22 Strut Masters Toyota. I mean, <laughs> ESPN fails. Strut Masters Chevy Silverado. Pace, car, pace truck dies for pit road. And the Pocono 300 is green. They're come flying down this front straightaway and head into turn number one. Expect to be a, there to be a lot of crashes today. As they head into turn number one, Kevin Ulrich is going for the lead. And Thomas McGuck is going to get four wide. It's not going to work. They're going to wreck at the front of the field. There goes Tyler Manson around. But he saved it. But they're, but they're wrecking even more back there. Jason Marsh just got spun by Aaron Mason. Thomas McGuck now get, goes for the lead. Green flag is still out. Green, wow, what a shock! The green's still out, but oh man, no, but it, well, it's not gonna stay out. Wait, yeah, there's a wreck back there. They just wrecked back there. No caution. We are still green flag racing, despite all the wrecks that occurred there on that first lap. Tyler Manson can't. Tyler Manson can't be a happy person. Thomas Mikacook leads the first lap. He's dropped to sixth in the point stand, so he's got to do stuff. And looks like caution came out the last second. And ooh, Reese Valakin, Jordan Polito, Peter Saviano, all Garrett Norton's on pit road, and that truck is torn to pieces. This looks like it was a pretty hard crash. Well, let's well let's go and take a look at what happened on all three of those incidents there. Here's a look at the first incident. Uh, Lodge of 24 of Kevin Orr. He just slides up into the 98 of Tyler Manson, shoves him into Daniel Culp. The two go into the wall. Manson goes sliding, but thanks to Kyle Sosnowski, saves it. Now, gotta take a look at the at the utter wreck. Now, here's the utter wreck that we were talking about. Uh, I can't get a good view. Alright. Uh, Jason Marshall reacts to the wreck up ahead, and Aaron Mason has nowhere to go. Uh, Jason Marshall is going to go sliding, but he is otherwise good. There's a wreck somewhere up ahead here. Oh my god, it's going to be impossible to find this. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
Okay, I'm not gonna get started on that. Oh, I think sort of wreck. Oh yeah, I hear I hear a wreck. Oh, there's another wreck up ahead, and oh, that's not good. This is, looks like a hard wreck. Uh, Joseph Clark and Ryan Juke make contact. They go into the wall and they spin. Ah, that's gonna be the end of the race for Dion Scott. I have a feeling. Oh, that's how Garrett Norton wreck got wrecked, and well, that's the incident that brought out the caution. All right. Well, got that cleared up. See you back for the restart. We're gonna go back to the green flag and let number six of thirty drivers out of the race are Dan Scott, Reese Valakin, and Garrett Norton. <laughs> Man, he just cannot catch a break. There were pit stops. Here is your running order: Emilio Navarre is first. Points leader Mason Wood is second. Third, Rob Thomas. Fourth, Connor Breton. Fifth, Savannah Turner. Sixth, Ferdin Points. Taylor Mitchell. Seventh, Zachary Robinson. Eighth, Hunter Alexander. Ninth, Thomas McCook. And tenth is Wilmer Jones. Eleventh is Jack Nathan. Twelfth, Kevin Orrick. Thirteenth, Kyle Sosnowski. Fourteenth, Brandon Bain. Fifteenth, Merrick McCook. Sixteenth, Curtis Runda. Seventeenth, Daniel Colt. Eighteenth, second in points, Seth Cole. Nineteenth, Daniel Hummel. And twentieth, Stephen Calvin. Twenty-first, PCM McCook. Twenty-second, Connor Haugen. Twenty-third, Darren Gale. Twenty-fourth, Tony Blazer. Twenty-fifth, Grant Pearson. Then it is James Qualls, Jessica Lawrence, Pulsar, Tyler Manson, Aaron Williams, and Chris Rickenbott around at the top thirty. Tyler Manson's all the way back in 28th-ish place? Yeah, I don't really know. Yes, 28th. Obvious, obviously that team botched the pit stop. Man, I've said that a lot lately. Whether it's recorded or not. Points leader Mason Wood, really working at a championship. Could this be another good run towards that championship, or will some of his rivals take advantage of a miscue? Pace truck dies for pit road, and the green is back out. Emilio Navarre gets a pretty good restart. Uh, Rob Thomas might try to get around the six here. And Rob Thomas is not doing anything. Instead, Connor Breen's going to try and get around Rob Thomas. And Mason Wood goes for the lead. Albert are sliding up. Turn one is a is turn one like really ev turns one and two are probably the major trouble spots and oh there's a wreck. Aw, oh, Aaron Williams is back there. I can see the two jar I can see them back there. Aaron Williams and Wright Yates are involved. And that's about it. And oh sliding up, sliding up, sliding up, sliding up. Oh no, there's Amelia Lavari around! Savannah Turner's involved and Oh, they're they're piling in. Wilmer Jones! Oh, oh no, 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 oh, Seth Cole! Seth Cole is second in points! And he has got wrecked into the wall! There was Jessica Lawrence and Tony Blazer! And someone's smoking! Ah, oh, that's... Ah, oh, that is Wilmer Jones. Another heartbreak for Wilmer Jones. Ah, I think, I think it was a dumb idea to say he was a championship contender because his luck is forcing him out of the picture, because his luck has just forced him out of the picture. I really think Wilmer Jones is done for the championship. Even though, even though it's only a halfway point, I still think Wilmer Jones has taken a fatal blow in the championship. Seth Cole definitely is going to have a setback with that damage. Going to check in on Taylor Mitchell. Taylor Mitchell is 13th. And Connor Breen led that last lap. Let's just skip straight to the next restart. We're going to go back to the green flag on lap number 11 of 30. Jars out of the race are Chris Rickenbaugh, Wilmer Jones, Connor Halligan, and Peter Saviano. They join Dion Scott, Reese Valkin, and uh, Garrett Norton. There were more pit stops. Here is your new running order. Hunter Xanders is the new leader. Connor Breton is second. Third, Mason Wood. Fourth, Rob Thomas. Fifth, Jack Nathan. Sixth, Grant Peterson. Wow. Seventh, Curtis Rundas. Eighth, Kyle Sosnowski. Ninth, PCM Mikkakuk. And tenth, Joseph Clark. 11th, Zachary Robinson, 12th, Stephen Calvin, 13th, Merrick McCook, 14th, Bo Peterson, 15th, Daniel Culp, 16th, Darren Gale, 17th, Taylor Mitchell, 18th, Kevin Orrick, 19th, Jason Marshall, 
20th Aaron Mason, 21st James Qualls, 22nd Tyler Manson, 23rd Ryan Juke, 24th Savannah Turner, 25th Thomas McCook, then there's Jordan Bolito, Jeffrey Finguy, Brandon Bain, Daniel Hummel, and Tony Blazer rounding out the top 30. Hunter Alexander is now at the front of the field. He's earning five bonus points for this. I know that last lap that Connor Breeden led, that was good for him. Because he's gotta try and he's gonna try he's gotta try and catch up in the strike he's gotta try and get in within striking distance of Mason Wood. That's that could be a that could be a bit of a challenge, but hey, you gotta try. I know Rob Thompson's suspension real one race suspension really hurt him. He's gotta get something going fast. And you got a challenge from teammate Jack Nathan. Okay, back to the front. Connor Breton getting some getting a run on Hunter Xanders, but does not choose to make the move. They look clean so far. No, oh, no, no, no! Oh, Seth Coolis got wrecked back there. Oh, but I think they're still good. Yes, they're, we're still green. Hunter Xanders now has a challenge from Connor Breton. No, but Mason Wood. Oh, they hit the wall. Mason Wood goes for the lead. Mason Woods now at the front of the field. Jack Nathan's running in, se in second place now. Yellow flag is out. They're going to race back to the line again. Jack Nathan's going to try and make the move. Nathan, try and get some bonus points. I don't think he's going to have enough, though. As they come to the line, it's going to be Mason Wood. More, like, disappointment for his championship rivals as he's going to get more bonus points. Ippolito and Rhett Yates. It's, I, I'd say are affected the most. Let's take a go look back at what happened. Well, here's a look at what happened. Jordan Ippolito was sliding up the racetrack and he got contact from Thomas Mikacook. This is not good for him in the championship. He's really been this season's really been falling apart lately. Ippolito spins and he's gonna get slammed by Rhett Yates. Gets hit in the quarter panel. That's gonna be the end of the day for Rhett Yates. His season has been really rough. Rhett Yates has had a rough season. This is just gonna make it worse. Well, they'll see you back for the restart. If I heard, actually, wait, if I heard something. Ah, oh, no, it was nothing. See you back for the restart. We are going back to the green flag on lap number 16 of 30. We're going to be in the second half of the race. Drivers out of the race are, uh, the only drivers involved, Jordan Polito and, um, Rhett Yates. More pit stops. Here is your running order. Mason Wood is first. Second, Jack Nathan. Third, Stephen Calvin. Fourth, PCM Mikacook, 5th, Merrick Mikacook, 6th, Curtis Runda, 7th, Taylor Mitchell, 8th, Jason Marshall, 9th, Aaron Mason, and 10th is Daniel Cole, 11th, Darren Gale, 12th, Savannah Turner, 13th, James Qualls, 14th, Tyler Manson, 15th, Brandon Bain, 16th, Jeffrey Finguy, 17th, Kyle Sosnowski, 18th, Rob Thomas, 19th, Kevin Norick, and 20th is Zachary Robinson. Base truck tires for pit road. Oh, oh, I've got to talk about Stephen Calvin. Stephen Calvin, as of recent, Stephen Calvin's really turned his season around. He's actually moved up into the top ten in points. I think he is either ninth or tenth. Yeah, great job by Stephen Calvin. And oh my God, they're really getting bunched up back there. Uh, Jeffrey Finn guy's a slow car, and Stephen Calvin tries to take second from Jack Nathan. Can Calvin get another good run? Oh, but he's sliding up into the 88. No contact. But I think there's going to be contact back there. None. No contact. And Stephen Calvin's going to try and get the lead here from Mason Wood. And Wood's going to slide up. And he hits the wall. Calvin's going to try and take advantage. And he's gonna, and these two are gonna be side by side coming into turn number three. Green flag is still out, um, not anymore. So we're gonna race back to the line. Stephen Calvin, he's gonna get some five bonus points and lead us back to the caution. Oh, Aaron Williams.
doesn't look like anything that big, so I think we're just going to do a live replay of that wreck. I'm going to just do a live replay of that wreck, rewind, and take a look. Oh, I see what happened here. Jeffrey Finn guy was being very slow on that restart, and, well, he wasn't, I don't think people were liking him. Uh, no, 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 he, he just slid into Jessica Lawrence and, aw, uh, Thomas Minkacook. He saved it, but still gets involved in another, but still, fact remains the same, he got involved in another wreck, which is not going to make his season any, which is not going to make his recent few weeks any merrier. Now, here's Aaron Williams. Ah, uh, it's him and Emilio Navarro, those who've been in the back all day. See you back for the restart. We got some big news. 21 Apicia Mikacook is blown up from fourth place under the caution. Really tough break for her. I heard this season just is right. This season just will not get better for PC and Mikacook. This is going to hurt the Wood Brothers team, that's for sure. Well, there were pit stops. Uh, I'm re restarting at 10 to go. Stephen Calvin is first. Second, Merrick Mikacook. Third, Jack Nathan. Fourth is now Taylor Mitchell. Fifth, Daniel Culp. Sixth, Aaron Mason. Seventh, Zachary Robinson. Eighth, Brandon Bain. Ninth, Curtis Rundas. And tenth is James Qualls. Eleventh, Tyler Manson. Twelfth, Mason Wood. Thirteenth, Kyle Sosnowski. Fourteenth, Connor Breton. Fifteenth, Ryan Duke. Sixteenth, Kevin Ulrich. Seventeenth, Tony Blazer. Eighteenth, Jason Marshall. Nineteenth, Rob Thomas. And twentieth is Daniel Hummel. Oh, drivers is out as a result of that last incident. Uh, Jeffrey Finn guy and Aaron Williams. That is now the sixth DNF for Aaron Williams this season. Things just won't get any better for him. Well, pace truck drives for pit dives for pit road. I know Taylor Mitchell's got to lead a lap to help her championship hopes out, and she did not get a good restart either. That or she got held up by Merrick Megacook, who got a terrible restart. As the green flag is back out. And Jack Nathan goes for second, tr trying to catch up to Stephen Calvin. Who ca Calvin took the lead away from Jack Nathan. No, no, they're going into the wall. Oh man, it made some some drivers made some big contact. Oh, Mika Cook got spun. If that brings out a caution, that's gonna be stupid because that was just a single car spin. It did not bring out a caution. But I think we still have a yellow flag here. Oh, 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 13, 13, 13. Oh, no, Rob Thomas. Slow down, slow down. No, 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 no. Oh, he saved it. And we're going to finally get another green flag lap. Well, let's get back up to the front of the field. Where we... Merrick Mickacook. Merrick Mickacook. Mick 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 How... He took the lead and led that uh, led that lap, but Stephen Calvin's gonna get it back now. And they touch, they touch. Are they are they gonna go in the wall? Yes, they will. Calvin spins from the lead. Culp spins along with him. The yellow's out. And here's the other. Oh, Kyle Zanowski. Ah, uh, the hometown hero gets gets some damage, and he is slow. I it's, I think it's gonna be the end of the day for the hometown hero. Tough break for Kyle Zanowski. After such a great debut at Carbondale, he really just didn't need this. And oh no, Zachary Robinson gets spun. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's Grant Peterson doing? No, 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 no! Oh, this is getting this is getting hairy. New leader Taylor Mitchell. It's good for her in the championship. All right, let's. Let's. <laughs> we're closing on the end of the race here, so why not? Let's just get let's get just get straight to the next restart. We are we are in the closing laps. We we gotta see what this could finish. This could be a great finish. We are going back to the green flag of lap number 27 of 34 laps to go. Drivers are out of the race. Our PCM. Oh wait, no, <laughs> no, she went. Drivers out of the race as a result of that, as a result of that last incident are Emilio Navard and Zachary Robinson. Top 10 is Taylor Mitchell, Curtis Rundas, Merrick Mikacook. Mason Wood, Connor Breton, Brandon Bain, Kevin Ulrich, Tyler Manson, Jason Marshall, and James Qualls. Can Taylor Mitchell hold on for her second win of the season? Or will Mason Wood back there have something to say? This could be the this will probably like, this will probably be the last restart of the day. I don't if we have a caution, I don't think we can get it restarted. 
Soda Paste, Truck, Dyser Pit Road. And here we are for, for f possibly the final restart of the day. Curtis Run does. Gets a great jump. Can he, can he get a win? That would be a huge shock for that team. That would be a huge shock if Curtis Rundas could get the victory lane. Well, here he goes! Curtis Rundas! Mason Woods in third! Taylor Mitchell to draft help! Oh, this could be out of the race! There's a wreck back there! Thomas McCook, Savannah Turner, Aaron Mason's lost his front end! Curtis Rundas can't get a good run! And on the straightaway! But he's going to get a good run in the corner! Mason Woods getting a challenge from Merrick McCook! Taylor Mitchell's driving away now! And Rob Thomas gets spun! But we're not looking at that right now! Coming in the final final turn! Can Mitchell hold on? Brandon Bean goes for third! And coming to the line! Taylor Mitchell will win at Pocono! A series of cautions to end this race! We had a caution to end this race. Great finish. Taylor Mitchell is the winner. Congratulations. She needed that win. Well, let's take a look back and see what happened to end this race. Well, here's a look at what happened. Here's Joseph Clark, who's had some terrible luck. Savannah Turner gets into Grant Peterson, and they and they go into, and they stuff Joseph Clark into the wall, and they stuff each other into the wall, too. They go spinning. Here goes Daniel Culp. Thomas Migacook's going to get a piece. Really, that's just a tough break for him. Aaron Mason. <sighs> but still, Thomas Migacook has had a really rough day. I I can't. I bet he can't wait to get this over with. Now, now the second thing I wanted to see was Rob Thomas. Did he save it? And he got he got hit he got hit by Seth Cole who's second in points and ow he hit the wall hard. And he's gonna slide up. But he is good. Alright, let's go back and check in with our winner. Here comes the finish. Well, as I predicted, this race is gonna end under caution. I'll just take a final look at who's out of the race. Thomas Mikacook, Kyle Sosnowski, Amelia. And no, 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 it's just the children's teammates, Thomas Migacook and Kyle Sosnowski. Neither of them are going to be happy because that's more points lost for Migacook and Sosnowski disappointed in front of his home crowd. Well, anyway, congratulations to Taylor Mitchell. Her second win of the season. Second will be Curtis Run does. Third, Merrick Migacook. Finally a good run. Fourth, Brandon Bain. Fifth, Mason Wood. Sixth, Connor Breton. Seventh, Kevin Oreck. Eighth, James Qualls. Good run there. Ninth, Tyler Manson. And Jason Marshall is tenth. Good follow-up on his win last week. Let's go for the top, top rest of the top 20 now. Eleventh, Daniel Hummel. Twelfth, Hunter Xanders. Thirteenth, Seth Cole, who's second in points. Fourteenth, Jack Nathan. Fifteenth, Darren Gale. Sixteenth, Ryan Juke. Seventeenth, Jessica Lawrence. Eighteenth, Tony Blazer. Nineteenth, Rob Thomas. And twentieth is Stephen Calvin. What the... I don't know what Savannah Turner and Grant Peterson are doing. Oh, I don't think they have enough fuel. But, hey, they're, hey, they're running in the two lowest positions, so that's not really a problem. Well, anyway, off the final turn. <laughs> and at a, scree at a screaming 65 miles an hour, Taylor Mitchell will get her second win of the season in the Pocono 500. He... Pocono 300 here at Pocono. Sorry for another ESPN fail there. Congratulations to Taylor Mitchell. This is this is a pretty good race. Taylor Mitchell's going to gain a lot of ground in the championship. In fact, I think she's going to be the new second in points. Well, anyway, that's all we have. That's all we have today. Uh, well, here comes the results and standings. Here, here comes the results and standings. You've been watching a production of the Pro World Racing League, where real racing happens. See you next time.